Okay, welcome back to another uh, video blog for the Goonies Pinball Project. Uh, I'm trying to knock these out uh, as often as possible. Um, uh, they're a lot of fun. I like doing these. Uh, this has actually been a pretty cool experience. So, uh, uh, number three here, I just want to go over uh, the uh, graphics a little bit as I'm just kind of just starting to really kind of work some of these out. Uh, I posted a couple of these online and I uh, thought I'd just talk about them a little bit in the video and just kind of how I um, work them up using the Pixel Mater program on the Mac. Uh, this is kind of my first little entry into, let's call it Photoshop for the lack of a better word. Uh, I decided to use the Pixel Mater program as opposed to like a Photoshop Elements, just really the cost is considerably different. Pixelmator is only $29.99 on the App Store, uh, whereas Photoshop Elements for like the newer version, I think it was somewhere right around $70. Bucks. Uh, I asked around some of my buddies, um, and you know, my one buddy just he recommended Pixelmator. He thought it would have been, uh, you know, he's some, something that he was kind of looking at to mess around with. He's a Photoshop guru, so. So I was like, well, screw it, you know, I'll take a chance on 30 bucks, and so far so good. I mean, it does everything really I need it to do, uh, at least as far as I can tell. Uh, so my my non-expert opinion so far has been pretty, <laughs> it, my, my opinion's pretty positive. Uh, so I'm going to jump over to, a, uh, to my screen here and kind of show what I'm doing so far. Let's... First, look at the cabinet here. Basically, what I did, and uh, to start out with, just to um, mess around with some of the uh, uh, just graphics and how it will really look on the machine. I've got my current Hollywood Heat meat machine here that I'm uh, uh, basically I'm modeling this off of. So I went and shot a couple of pictures of it just in my living room and. Uh, pop that into um, Pixelmator and then started messing around with that copying some layers. I'm not going to go into the nitty-gritty on how I did this but outlining the machine, filling it in black and then starting to put some various Goonies graphics on it that I pulled off of the internet and just playing around with different ideas. So the first idea here was going with just a black cabinet and the Goonies logo just as large as I can make it on there. Um, I mean, hell, I'll even go larger than that, I suppose. Um, and so far, at least the uh, response online has been pretty positive to just that. Um, just very simple giant logo on the side. Uh, I kind of asked the question, would you know, would you prefer just to see a giant logo? Do you think it's worth the time and effort and money to completely wrap the graphics all the way around the cabinet and just do a full, you know, uh, overall wrap? But uh, I mean, which I'm totally open to do. Um, it's not going to be that much more money, really. It's uh, my question, really, is is you have this in a lineup of several pinball machines, do you even see the side of the cabinet? Uh, you know, I could argue that you don't. I mean, it looks great in pictures, and but if I'm going to spend the time... Uh, granted, overall, I want this to be as best it, as it could be. So I'm, I'm open to do it either way, but um, the play field, I'm probably going to give a, you know, a lot more attention to. I think that's going to be way more important because that's what you're staring at while you're playing the game. Uh, so first off, I just kind of I did a big logo there. I really I'm really into like powder coating the the legs and the rails. I think it looks really cool. And regardless, I'm going to powder coat them anyways just to get a nice new finish on them. So you know why not do a color? So I was playing with the yellow uh, to see what that would look like, and. Um, I think it turned out pretty cool. It might be a bit loud for my taste, but hell, who cares? I like loud sometimes. Um, so yeah, that's the side graphic there. And going over to the right side of the head, 
I, I really like the idea of incorporating some of the movie poster um, elements to this. So this is one of them, uh, and I've actually kind of I flipped it, I kind of mirrored it, and flipped it around so it fit on the right side of the cabinet. And I think maybe you know it'd be cool something up towards the top there, doing you know Goonies never say die or you know a nice little a cool little saying there, or maybe just another logo on the side. But uh, but so far I'm, I'm really kind of into that look. The, I think the side of the head it might be a little bit more visible. It's kind of eye level as you're walking up to a machine. Um, and then, you know, and then that's really most of what I've really messed with so far. I haven't got too much beyond that. I started kind of playing with the apron and instruction card and um, stuff like that, but um, nothing I really want to show just yet, just because it's super in its infant stage. Um, yeah, so just wanted to show a little bit of progress there. I uh, got some good news. My buddy Mick actually picked up the machine down in South Florida um, this past weekend, so that's really exciting. He's got it over at his house now near Tampa, so I'm hoping maybe sometime this week I'll be able to get the machine here and be fun to kind of give a little uh, overview of my canvas and what I'm going to be working with and and uh, I've got to take some inventory of that machine and see how it really looks. I still have never really seen it. I don't even think I've actually seen pictures of it. So. Uh, It'll be it'll be interesting to see what that uh, what that looks like in the end. Um, so that's just the beginning of the cabinet graphics. Um, probably gonna start working on uh, a couple of more ideas on the side of the cabinet there. Posting them up on Pinside, posting them up on the website uh, GooniesPinball.com, and please, please, please give me your feedback. Um, uh, you know, I love hearing from you know the Goonies fans and you know and pinball fans and see what people think and and uh, so hopefully I can make something cool that everybody will enjoy you know at some of the expos around uh, around Florida here so so that's it for today oh I I do actually have a uh, beer I'm enjoying this evening this is a beer from Terrapin and this is from their Monster Beer Tour. This is the Oaked Big Hoppy Monster. I think like 10.9% or something like that. 10.6%, which is uh, really all you need is about one of those to get you going. So anyways, uh, go to GooniesPinball.com for just the general daily updates or, you know, funny pinball things I, I find around online. I uh, or just some of the weird things I've been picking up Goonies related lately. I've been kind of on a eBay spree lately picking up some Goonies memorabilia and uh, and then while you're on the website check out the build tab and on the build tab I'm putting up just uh, an ongoing spreadsheet of expenses for this project and just kind of what I'm putting into it and like a list of parts and a list of materials that I'm gathering along the way so if you're curious on you know how much is spent on doing a retheme like this? It could be kind of interesting. I'm going to be very curious to see what it ends up being. Uh, I'm guessing probably going to spend maybe around twelve to fifteen hundred bucks, somewhere in there. But after all that, should have a pretty badass machine. So, anyways, thanks a lot, GooniesPinball.com, and uh, we'll see you in a couple of days. Thanks. Peace.